In this video, I'll show you how you can create a slide where students can take their notes and how you can export it using JavaScript. So the idea for this video came from one of my viewers, Barb, who wrote on a video I did about text entry boxes. Uh, she asked, uh, you know, she asked, is it possible to take this one step further and save the text entry outside of Captivate, either by emailing it or saving it locally? I've also looked at the notes interaction, which allows for saving or printing, but I'm not a fan of the widget needing to stay open on the screen. However, I'm basically looking to replicate the concept of saving these notes captured by a text entry boxes during the course. Here's one possibility that might work for you. What I've done is I've created a, a little mini project here. I've done this several times where I've created a pop-up slide, which really isn't a pop-up slide, but kind of functions like a pop-up slide. How you keep it from the normal navigation is you put it just after a slide one like I've got here. So on this slide, uh, when this slide opens, it's only going to play for about half a second or so. Then what I'm going to do on exit is to jump to a particular slide. In this case, slide number three, where my actual title slide will go. So that's the first step in making this progress. So it skips past this slide and jumps straight on to the title slide of this course. And the learners, of course, can continue with the rest of the, the e-learning course from here. And what I do is I add an icon of some sort, a button or something, that when the learners click on it, this will actually jump to slide two. So the on success action for this object, which incidentally is set to display for the rest of the project, and it's gonna always be on top. So I only need to place this button on slide number three and it will appear in the rest of my project on all the remaining slides. So let's go back to the properties inspector and set the on success action to always jump to slide two no matter where they are in the course. So jump to slide number two. So that will work well. Incidentally, I've turned the hand cursor and disabled the click sound. Uh, which is something I usually do for all of my buttons. And uh, so this will now appear on all subsequent slides as well, as you can see here. Let's go back to this slide here. And what I've done is I've designed what will essentially function like a pop-up, the student notes page, I call it. And I've got some instructions at the top where I simply say, enter your notes below use the download button to open your text in a new window so you can copy and paste your notes into your own document or print. Now there's two buttons here. The first button is simply an exit button and its on success action is to go to the slide last visited. So if I jump to this slide from the title slide or any other slide, it will return me to exactly where I left off in my course we have this download button here. And instead of having it perform just a regular action, we're actually going to have it execute some JavaScript, which we'll write in a moment. Uh, and it's going to be based on this text entry box. By default, the text entry box is just set up to use the default text entry box variable. And you may wish to create a variable that makes more sense when you look at the name of it. I'm going to call this underscore learner notes and click OK. So that's going to be my variable for this particular text entry box here. And of course, you can set up the text entry box to do whatever you need it to do. I'm going to suggest that you're going to want to retain the text so that if learners come back to this slide that contains the text entry box, Whatever they typed in previously will still be here. And as far as under the Actions tab, you're going to probably want to show a scroll bar so that you know, it can contain perhaps several paragraphs of text as well. So now what we want to do is we want to click on our Download button, change the On Success action to execute some JavaScript. 
and we're going to open up our script window. And what I like to do is I like to use a tool called brackets because it allows me to type out scripts such as this JavaScript here in a much larger font so it's easier to work with as well. And it also kind of checks your syntax as you go. So I'm going to create, first of all, a JavaScript variable called learner notes. And I'm going to use the common JavaScript interface for Adobe Captivate to actually transfer that, that variable that we've just created for our text entry box into this JavaScript variable here. So I've used the following command, window.cpapiinterface.getVariableValue, and in parentheses and quotes, I put in the user variable that I've assigned to that text entry box. Next, I'm going to create a variable called myWindow, which is used to basically set up a new window that I'm going to open from this download icon here. And then finally, I'm going to use the document write command along with my window to open up learner notes, which is the JavaScript version of my learner notes variable into that new window. So it will truly be like a pop up here. So I'm going to select all of this and copy it. And then we're going to paste it into the JavaScript window here so that this functions when a user clicks this download icon. So again, just to recap, when a user launches this course for about half a second, they'll see this blank slide and it will jump straight away to the title page on slide three. When users click this little notes item here, it will jump to this page from anywhere else in the course and allow them to add more to their notes that they're keeping here. And at any time, of course, they can open it in a new window where they can either copy and paste it into, say, a Word document or literally print from that window by right-clicking on the window. So let's test it out and see how it works. I'm going to preview this in HTML5 in browser. And here we go. So let's go ahead and click that. So you can see it jumps straight away to my title page. Let's go ahead and click start. So I've learned something here. Maybe I want to uh, write some notes based on the text that's on this slide. So I can click my notes icon here and it brings me here. And of course, uh, we can just type something in here. And then I can use the X icon to return to the slide that I was on and continue with the rest of the course. Now there's something new that I've just learned here on this slide. So what I can do is I can again go back to the notes slide. You'll see all the text I typed both before was still there. And now I can of course paste in some new text, whatever it might be. And again, return here. And of course I can navigate throughout the course however I wish. Now once I'm towards the end of my course and maybe I wish to download my notes, I just need to click this little download icon. And as you can see here, a new pop-up appears with all of the text that I wrote. And I can, of course, uh, click into that window, select Control A, and then copy that and paste it into whatever document I wish. Alternatively, I can right-click on this and click on Print and send that either to a PDF file or my actual printer and print out my notes. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.